Welcome back. Now, let us continue. Um, Frederick Ray our day is rich nobles in Paris, shall we? Okay, um, in between the uh, videos, I have separated our decks and reshuffled them. And um, so now at the beginning of year two, the uh, Fool comes out again. What a coincidence. And the Moneylender. Did I really? Yeah, I shuffled these. Okay. And um, B, the uh, King of the Beggars, or I think his name is. This guy um, scores points. For um, the more the the better you're doing on the rat trail, the more points this guy scores. This guy again gives you uh, two bucks and a victory point. And this is the uh, most powerful of them, the one who basically gives you an extra action. Chances are both Jen and I will be using that guy. But you know, um, sometimes it's better to do other stuff. Alrighty, but anyway, so starting out again, I draw three cards. One, two. Hey, it's my friend, my trusted friend, and the park, and the carriage, which I have yet to. Um, have fun with. And Jen draws three. And now let's see, what do I want to? I'm definitely going to hold on to my friend. Um, yes, because now he's sitting over here. If I actually move him over here, um, well, actually, I don't, if I move him into the hospital, he'll probably never get out. Um, but I can move him over here and score two points and start and, um, you know, start actually starting to make a lot more points and catch up with Jen. So I, anyway, but we'll see what I'm going to do with him, uh, depending on what other cards I get. But anyway, I'm holding on to him, which means I hand over the park and the carriage to Jen. Knowing Jen, she will definitely hold on to that carriage because she loves to go for a drive. Um, let's see. Right, and so her opening hand, she holds on to that and she hands me these things. Okay. What you give me? Well, now that's not too terribly bad. Um, she's played right into my strategy of helping me expand my victory point maker. Um, so I'm definitely going to hold both of these guys and give her back the bank. And meanwhile, what is she going to give me back? Is she going to give me that um, carriage back, or is she going to hold on to the park, which she should do because um, her rat problems are getting out of control, but she can't help it. She just wants to go for a joy ride, so she is going to hold on to the carriage um, and uh, hand me back my park. Rats? What rats? Who's worried about rats? Okay, and so now, let's see, I think Jen's first, so she begins, and her cards, hey, she got her Notre Dame again. Um, and let's see. So I think she's definitely going to use her Notre Dame. Is she going to go to the bank? She has one buck, which means she'd be able to pay her people, but then she's running out of cash. So is she going to take a buck or is she going to go for a ride? I think she's going to go for a ride because uh, she could go out um, and get money on the road. So she's not going to go to the bank. She is going to um, use the carriage card I gave her to place another influence on the carriage house, which will let her go one, two, Three, all the way over here, um, where she has picked up her first purple. Um, and this is the purple that gives her one buck and a victory point. Now, with one, two, three, she could have actually reached this purple, which would have been four points. But by the same token, she's almost out of money. And if she doesn't keep up with money, she won't be able to hire the additional people and she loses. So, honey, she happens to be standing right here. What would you do? Would you take the four points or would you ensure you have a buck for future purchases? She would take the four points. Oh, all righty. To hell with the future, she says. I want points now. So she just grabbed this purple, um, where she's, and which allows her to score four points. Two, five and give back a one. So she went for a carriage ride. Very nice for her. Now me, I am going to um, use the purple card Jen gave me and put an influence at my house, which scores me two points. One, two. And don't forget, because I'm in the park, it also scores me another. And um, I forgot. No, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. So it scores me another because I'm in the park. Let's see. And back to Jen. Here's her Notre Dame. She is going to jump into Notre Dame again. And um, she wasn't thinking about it. Uh, she should have taken that money. Instead, she went for the points. This is her last dollar. She has to spend it. She has no choice by going to Notre Dame. Um, by going to Notre Dame, she spends her last dollar, which gives her one victory point. But now she will not be able to hire one of those guys. I wonder instead of, if she, instead of going to Notre Dame, she could have used her bank and gotten money, but then here's the risk with that. That means she has given up her Notre Dame card, which would give me the opportunity to go to Notre Dame completely unimpeded and score six points. Do you regret having grabbed that four points now? Yes. She regrets it, folks. Anyway, that's a rarity. Normally she's the uh, smarter player than me. Anyway, um, okay, so 
That was a bit of excitement. Um, back to me. I've already done that. I'm not going to go to the park because my rat controls, and I'm going to use my trusted friend, and I'm going to send him to my house, where I will now score one, two, three points. Where's a three-er? A three-pointer, and plus another point because I've been lazing about in the park. Um, how lovely. Okay, so that was that. Now, um, I still have a dollar, unlike some people, so Jen cannot afford to hire a person, but I can. Who am I going to hire? I'm going to hire um, Mr. Juggler, and he allows me to move one cube someplace else and reap the rewards. Huh. Although, oh, I don't want to move any of these guys, because I am making good points, I am protecting myself from rats, and I'm getting those bonus points. Oh, I don't want to move any of them. Well, maybe I shouldn't. But if I do move, if I, if I you know, give up the, 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 the park bonus, I um, can score oh, uh, four points. Okay, how many rats are coming out? One, two, only three rats. Uh, I might regret this. I'm going to give up one of my guys, a little bit of protection from the hospital, uh, to jump over here. And now I've got four plus the park means I just scored five points. Yum, yum. Come get some. All right, and Jen can't hire anybody. And so now um, it is... Uh, Plague time, there were three. I've got two guys, which means I'm going to go up one, two on the meter. Jen, meanwhile, she's got one guy. It is not enough to save her. Um, uh, so she goes up one, and then she tries to go up again, but she can't go any farther than nine. Whenever this happens, whenever you can't move past the nine, it doesn't matter how far you can't. If you can't move past the nine, you immediately lose two points, and you have to remove a cube from your most... Um, um, influenced bird, which right now is this one. So Jen has to lose a cube from there. That is the problem. Um, she has let her uh, rat pro problem get out of hand because she was all off on a joyride gallivanting around town. Now, you know what? I mean, that's not the end of the world. Um, you know, she did score four points, but she just lost two of those four, and that, you know, she had to balance that. I mean, you could smartly say, you know what, that's okay. I can, I, as long as I'm not wasting, you know, as, as long as I've got a little bit of hospital keeping under control, but yeah, she's really going to want to do something about that in the next turn. Speaking of which, let's move on to it. Um, we get, I get a, um, what do you call it? The, the hospital, which would be nice to refill, and my Notre Dame. So am I going to fight her for Notre Dame now? Unfortunately, I don't have any money, so I would have to get some money. However, I've got the bank. So, oh, but this is tricky. Because I, I would need to have both of these to get the money to um, put something on Notre Dame. Um, let's see. Oh, I forgot. New guys came out. One, two, three. The barmaid again. The, the monk guy, and this guy, who for, um, now generally wants to go this, because for every one of these things she has picked up, she gets three points. So she is desperately going to want to get a buck somehow, by hook or by crook, this turn. And we'll, I wonder if she'll be able to do it. I think she will, but we'll have to see. And now that's the thing. I know she's going to want to do that. So I dare not give her this um, money, which means I give her the Notre Dame. Um, but that's, if she gets money some other way, um, oh, well, but I dare not give her the money because I don't want her just to have nine points. So I hand both of these to her, and hopefully she doesn't have some other way to get money. Meanwhile, what is she going to give me? She is going to give me... Uh, the carriage. And... Oh, what's she going to give me? The... Oh, oh, oh. What does she want to hold on to? She wants both of those things. She's going to give me the park. All right. And then she held on to something else. Now, which of these am I going to keep? I have yet to go ride around on a carriage, and it would be kind of nice to start picking up, because it's just points just lying out there waiting to be grabbed, and I don't want to cede them all to Jen. Um, or I could increase uh, my, you know, I could, I could start working on not only protecting, or not only reducing my rats by one, but also building up so that I can earn two points for every time I earn points. But on the flip side, if I, if I give her this carriage, then she would be able to get the fourth of three colors and have got a set and then start earning even more points. And there are so many points to be had by driving around. Um, let's see. Uh, she needs to still pick up a blue. So she would easily be able to pick up that four-pointer over there. 
Um, hell, she'd actually be able to get to that one pointer in that dollar over there, which I know I don't want her to do. If I give her that carriage, I'm pretty much guaranteeing her that she can get the points, the money she needs, so that she can pay this guy and score nine points. So, uh, but I'm getting worried. Let's see, how many rats do we have? One, two, three, only three rats. Um, I'm only going to go up one. I'm going to hold on to the carriage. I don't want her to get that money. Probably a silly move, but I give her back the other park. And meanwhile, what does she give me back? She gives me back. Oh, she, or she's clever. She gives me back Notre Dame. Okay, because she knows I don't have any money. And if I want to go to Notre Dame um, with the money I make, that means I wouldn't be able to hire one of these people. So she um, makes me make a tough choice too. But anyway, I think it was me. I'm first player. So what am I going to do here? Um, let's see. Now, first of all, I could just ignore the carriage. I think I am. I think I'm just going to put in influence because I'm, I'm out of cash. I'm out of dough uh, over here in the bank so I can make $1. Jen, meanwhile, she is going to have her uh, trusted friend, I think. Yeah, she's going to use her trusted friend, which I didn't know she had, and come over here to the bank and get 2 bucks. So all my attempting to keep her from having money was for naught. She got her money anyway. Back to me. Now, do I want to go for a ride or do I want to jump into... And again, I have $1. I could send that off to Notre Dame um, or I can spend it on one of these guys. Now, here's the thing. If I do not send this dollar off to Notre Dame, Jen has uncontested control and she will score six points, whereas we'll split it. So basically, I'm um, making three points. Um, although... I, I, in some sense, I'm making six points because I'm preventing her from getting six, punts, six points. So, do I want to go to Notre Dame or do I want to go driving? I think I'm going to go to Notre Dame. So I pay my... But then that means I can't use any of these. Ah, all right. Wait, wait. I'm paying my one buck. Going to Notre Dame. Um, and I'll score three points. Although me, I will actually score four points because I'm in the park and Jen isn't. So it's a little bit better. All right. And meanwhile, Jen's last thing. Uh, she's going to go to the park or the hospital? Park, hospital, park, hospital. Um, she's going to go, let's see. Now, if she went to the hospital, um, it won't be enough for her to protect herself. Although it will if she drives. Oh, but she can't drive. So either way, it doesn't matter if she goes to the park or hospital, she is going to get hit with plague again. But um, going to the hospital, oh wait, no, I'm wrong. Actually, she's going to totally go to the hospital. Silly me. I can add, I can do math. So she puts her second um, thingy in the hospital. She doesn't go to the park. All right, which leaves her with one influence, whereas I've got two. So we're going to need to start getting some influence pretty soon as well. Now it's time to pay. I have no money. I can't pay any of these people. Jen has a buck. She is going to pay this dude who immediately gives her nine points. What the heck? Let's just grab our first 10. Um, so don't feel bad for Jen. Okay, so that's done. These guys are done. And now, remember, there was three rats, um, right? One, two, three. Now me, I have two guys in the hospital, so I only go up one, two. I'm right on the borderline. Jen, she um, just put, uh, I forgot, when she put her guy in the hospital, she moved back one. And now she only has to move forward one because it was three total minus two means she moves up one and she avoids the dreaded plague this turn. But we are both on the borderline. Um, so well played, honey. And uh, we have a situation now where uh, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to catch up in points. But wow, she is still just so far ahead of me. I'm interested to see what happens. Anyway, next turn. Jen will be first. Three cards. One, two, three. And I forget what that guy is. Um, but how nice. The one where if you pay this guy, you don't have to worry about rat problems. The one where if you um, pay him, you can move one, two, or three cubes around. Or this is a new guy where um, for every region you have at least two workers in, you'll score two points. Now, currently, it doesn't matter at all because I got no cash. And I would like to get some cash so I could pay those guys. Um, let's see. What are Jen's cards? Interest. Yes, okay. All right. Let's see. Also, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rats. Oh, dear. I think we're both... I don't think there's anything we can do about that. Um, I would be very, very surprised since we're... Yeah, that we're... I mean, so I don't think either of us are going to try and, and stop that rat apocalypse that is going to be hitting us this turn. Um, seven rats. That's crazy. Oh, but don't forget. 
we can completely avoid the rat apocalypse if we pay this guy. So first of all, I need to figure out, can I get some money? I can if I go to the hotel. Remember I was saying early on, this is kind of a consolation prize, but now in desperate times, I might go there just to get that dollar as crazy as it is. Alternately, I could go and get some more influence, but I'd have to start building on the cloister again, so I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to hand that over to Jen. But I want this. I want to put another influence here and score mucho points and start catching up with Jen, but I want that dollar. I, don't, I will not be able to get a dollar any other way. Let's see. Now, and so, if I don't pay any of these guys, and if I paid this guy, I would be able to get right now one, two, three, four, five. He would give me six points. He would save me two points in losing an influence, and he would let me, um, you know, do a big, big move, which would be very, very nice too. Like heck, I mean, I could move out of the uh, the thing and move over here, and I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'd make seven points, eight points, nine points every time I go there. But he would save me influence, and oh boy. Anyway, I think it's worth getting a dollar, so I am actually literally going to hold on to this hotel, as insane as that is. Meanwhile, Jen, what is she going to do? What is she going to give me? Is she going to give me that? She's got a dollar. She's smart. Um, she could do that. She's not gonna, all right, so she's going to hand me this. I think she's going to hand me this. And surprise, she actually handed me her hotel. The thing I was desperately holding on to, now I potentially have two hotels if I want to. Or alternatively, I can put another guy in my hospital. It won't help me much this turn, but it will help me in the future. Do I want to do that? Oh, another interesting thing, by the way. Um, I forgot, if you, do, if you pay this, this is the doctor. Um, not only does he prevent you from having any further rat outbreaks, it's as if um, you, uh, yeah, I think if I recall correctly, it's as if you put another thing here, so you get to reduce your rat population as well, which is very important. Um, so I think, actually with that in mind, just to protect myself in the last year, I'm going to hold on to the hospital instead of making this other buck. And I'll hand this back to Jen, and let's see what she gives me. She's going to give me this influence. And I'm bummed because I was really hoping she'd give me back um, this so I can make a ton of points. But she knows I'd make a ton of points. That's why she didn't give it to me. Okay. So, and uh, I think I'm first. Um, although really, first doesn't really matter except um, when it comes to the carriage. If one of you other is going to go to the carriage, you know, there's like first dibs on carriage stuff. Anyway, so um, I'm going to use this to get a measly dollar. Yikes. And let's see, and then Jen, what did she end up with? She ended up with her hotel, with her victory point thing, and her um, influence. She's going to go and get, because she was almost out of influence, she's going to go and get two influence back to me. Do I want influence, or do I want to um, do the, I think I'm going to actually, I'm going I'm to forgo the influence. I'm going to put another influence on my hospital, which reduces me one. Although it's not quite enough. Although if I pay the doctor, the doctor will help out too. How does he work again? He's probably the most, you notice he's the most complicated guy because he's got twice as much text as all the other people. Um, regardless of the calculated value of his uh, influence markers and or trusted friends also. Who's uh, uh, Same number, yep, yeah, yeah, so, right. So, Jen, her last thing, she could make some points, which will score her one point really. That's not gonna do her very good. Or she could use this. Um, wow. I think she's going to use this to get a cube because she's so low on cubes. Although so am I. Right. So now we each had a buck. No. Yes. No. Wait, didn't I get a buck? Didn't I out of desperation? Yes, I did. I guess I just didn't pick it up. There's my buck. Um, so we each have a buck. I'm going to spend a buck to protect myself from the plague, um, which means I won't get hit by the seven and I get to go back one, two, three. So it helps me in the future because I had three guys there. Thank you, doctor. Although it would have been great to get six points. It would have been great to move stuff around, but I just saved myself from the plague. Meanwhile, Jen, let's see, she could do the same thing, um, protect herself and get to move back twice on rat. Um, or she would also make six points off of this. Or, um, let's see. Or she can move these guys around and uh, if she moved these two guys around, she can move these over here to the hospital, which will protect her from four of the seven. But still, I think she's just going to do the same as me. She's going to protect herself from the seven, which means she goes down one, two, and that was that. It was a good thing the doctor came up. 
at that point. And that's the end of the second year. Um, let's take a peek at the third year. The third year, right off the bat, we have the queen who um, basically pick your region that has the most guys in it and score that many points. I would score four points if I pay her. And um, there'd also be this guy. Uh, pick, uh, what was, oh, I forget this guy. Um, oh, it's the carpenter. Uh, each player takes one pre prestige point for each of his seven sectors in which he has at least, right, okay, yeah. In every sector where you have at least one cube, you score a point. That can be a big sc point score towards the end of the game. And um, this guy who, um, for every region where you have at least three, gets you three points. So you can see this last turn is all about ha having, you know, having your influence pay off and score big, big points in the final year. Um, as opposed, and you know, and of course, the the normal cards come out some more, and uh, you know, once again, you just switch these back and forth. I'm not going to go through a third year, although actually, I probably could, but um, I think I've I've gone on long enough to give you guys an, a good um, examination of how things escalate and they get more and more exciting, and how painful the choice of handing away two of your cards can be when you desperately want to do all of them and you desperately don't want to give them to your opponent. Um, you know, that's what makes this game, you know, so smooth and so fast. I should point out this game plays so fast, but you know what? I'm actually getting into wraps up Seville now. So let's just actually put up the button. They'll let you skip to wrap up and then I will continue to wax rhapsodic about Notre Dame. Okay. In five, four, three, two, one.